Welcome to the last part of my walkthrough for the first episode of Resident Evil Revelations to my friends. In this segment we are going to collect a few more insect larvae and there are also two emblems left for us to pick up. No. We're just going to start by running all the way up the hill with Natalia. There are a few hidden items that she can locate for Barry. And then she needs to clear a path for Barry. After that we're going to collect insect larvae number 4. We can't cross the bridge here because it's broken down. There's the first item. A little bit of assault rifle ammunition. Natal Natalia sure is useful. I do have to give her some credit here. And there's another item here in the corner. There it is. So now what we need to do is pick up a brick and break the lock so that Barry can pass. Barry, it's locked. What do I do? You need to break the lock. Here's the brick. See anything around there you could use? And now Barry can get through. Good work. But we're going to control Natalia once again because we're going to collect the fourth insect larvae, like I said. It's very easy to miss this one. It's on a tree all the way in the corner of the map. Okay. There it is. There's also an item here on the ground. There it is. And now let's take care of the larvae. There it is. Smash it. And that's four out of six. We need two more. And now let's keep going on ahead. We're going to encounter a new type of enemies here. But they're not that hard to deal with once you know what you're doing. <coughs> Natalia makes up for a better sidekick than Moira does to clear, that's for sure. Okay, let's head inside the cabin now. That's not a good sign. Let's just pick up this herb. And now all that you need to do is try and open the door. Hey. What's that? Don't try to push the door once again, otherwise Barry will be attacked. Instead, we're going to... Let Natalia find the enemy for us. You see that spot? That's where it is. And like I said, you can use Natalia to find the weak point of this enemy. That big yellow blob on his leg, it's his weak point. But it can change depending on the enemy. So that's the strategy that you need to use here. Use Natalia to find out the weak point and then fire at that body part and you'll easily dispose of them so they're really not that hard now this next section can be very easy to to get lost in it's a pretty big area but there is a map which we are going to collect first let's pick up this brick and there's a crate here let's break it and now we're going to run on ahead and we're going to encounter a few enemies here but we can sneak past them or actually stealth kill them. But first, there should be an enemy here, I don't know why it's not appearing. Maybe it moved into another area. But nonetheless, let's keep running forward and we will find a small cabin and there's the map of the area and now things will get a lot more easy because we know where we need to go now. I know there's an, an enemy around here. Closer to that light. Yep, 
There it is. So we're going to use Barry here to try and approach him very slowly so that we can stealth kill him and that way we can save up some ammunition. There we go. So he's down. Pick up the ruby. And there's an emblem here. But first let's dispose of that enemy as well. We're going to throw the brick at the yellow glowing part of its body. That will weaken it. And then Barry can finish the job. There's something ahead. Nice throw. Okay. So as you can see their weak point changes depending on the enemy. But using Natalia it really makes your life a lot easier. There we go. And now let's turn around and find that emblem. It's on the other side. Yep, it's on the other side, so let's go around. Use the light as a reference. It's very well hidden here, but there we go. A knife strike gets the job done here. And that's 7 out of 8, so we only need to find one more tower emblem. But in terms of, in terms of insect larvae, we still have to find two more. Let's keep going. Oh, it's just a ruby, so we don't really need it. And now let's move on ahead, and we're going to get the next insect larvae. It's in this house right here. You can see it on the wall. It's on the inside, so let's step inside. There we go, and let's smash it. Five out of six, we only need to collect one more, which is very close to the end of the episode. I need to change my items here a little bit because Barry is full, but I guess that will do for now. So let's move on ahead. Okay, let's go. Lost a little bit of time there that I didn't need to lose, but oh well. Those freaks had some of the same symptoms. And I don't know why the game didn't show the... Opening of the door animation. Same thing happened with me with Claire. Sometimes the characters actually get stuck in the door before they can actually pass to the other area. And then other times it simply cuts out the animation. It's not a big deal, but nonetheless. So let's head down now. To the next area. And there's two more enemies to take care of here but we can use an incendiary bottle to finish them off at the same time. Natalia has a red bracelet, that can't be a good sign. They're back. Hide. Okay, I actually need to give some items to Natalia here. There we go. And uh, let's see if I can burn both of them. Wait for them to move together. And let's get ready and throw. If you manage to hit both of them, then they'll just burn down. And you won't really have to fight them. Okay, good. And now let's go around. A few more items to pick up here. A custom part for our weapon. We just need to lift this crate with Barry and then we can let Natalia pass down. And now we can go around, open this door and head through this door to collect the custom part.
climb up and pick up the custom part for the weapon and now we can move to the next area which is actually the final area of this episode and it can be a little bit tricky but it's nothing that we can't handle okay we can make another incendiary bottle here but we're going to wait now and let's do a few upgrades to our weapons so I'm going to give the damage level 3 quick load and the capacity level 1 all to my assault rifle and I can put the extra damage level 1 to my handgun for now but at any time I can switch the upgrade between weapons so it's all good so all that we need to do is combine the empty bottle with the alcohol and that gives us our sub weapon and now let's head down there are a few hidden items to locate here Barry such a gentleman so let's run on ahead pick up a brick and there's a hidden item here and if you turn around there's another one right here there's a few more for us to pick up but I'll do that once this area is clear and now just approach the gate to trigger the next cutscene Yep, and we're about to have some company here. Don't fire at them quite yet, because there's going to be a third one that appears. And we're going to try and use our bottle to burn the three of them. Even if we just burn two of them, it's already a progress. They're close enough, so let's try. Oh, damn it. The bottle didn't hit in the middle, it stayed between the first two and so the third one didn't burn but that's okay, I'll just use Barry to finish off this last one. Stand still you bastard, there we go. And now once again we're going to use Natalia. Okay, so let's activate the power there, the and now we can go around and we're going to go ahead and collect the last insect larvae and also the last emblem. So if you've been following my walkthrough, after you collect these two, you'll have everything. An important note, Barry can't actually reach this emblem to my knowledge so we have to use Natalia here or this I always use Natalia just throw a brick over the barrels and that will break the emblem so 8 out of 8 we got them all good job and now let's sneak kill an enemy here we're just going to wait for it to turn around there it goes it turned around and now let's dispose of him there we go And now let's keep going. And 
and in this area that's where we're going to find the last insect larvae but oh whoops I forgot I need a brick <laughs> so let me go and pick up a brick here oh there's one right there and let me pick up that item over there as well and let's take care of the last insect larvae as you can see it's very easy to miss them they're not in easy places to find that's for sure it sure took me a while to find them all but there we go and now all that we need to do is move to the exit and we're almost in the clear ignore the other enemies you don't need to fight them And again, they're also ignoring Barry, apparently. They don't want any of him. Right. Nice save, Barry. Nice save. Fine. I'm sure Natalia is grateful. So we're going to head down now and as you can see we're precisely in the same area where the chapter with Claire and Moira ended. So all that we need to do now is approach the control panel inside the room and that will conclude this episode. We're just going to witness another fairly long cutscene and a preview for the next episode which comes out next week. That's her. That's my baby. Any luck in there, Mara? No! Piece of shit must be busted. Okay, then let's head over to the Bostic. Fucking technology. You can say that again. This was logged six months ago. Jesus, Moira. Your daughter's name is... Moira? Yeah. Why? <sighs> hey kid, you okay? Moira... She's dead. What? Next time on Revelations 2. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? But if we've been infected with something... I promise I'll catch up! Is this the place? The Placid? Don't be scared. So, you finally came, huh? We are off this motherfucking island! <laughs> Well, I'm sure interested to see what happens in the next episode. They, they got me hooked, that's for sure. And apparently Moira is dead, according to, to Nat Natalia. So I wonder what happened to Claire. I really doubt that Capcom would kill Claire. We all know they don't kill main characters, but nonetheless very interesting episode here as i expected i got a clear time of 31 minutes but overall i still got an s rank searching for those insect larvae and traveling back and forth really hurt my overall time here a little bit but it doesn't really matter we got all the collectibles in the first episode so if you've been following my walkthrough then you should have also obtained S rank for both chapters and you've obtained all the collectibles by now. 
So we'll see what happens on episode 2, I'm already going to upgrade Moira's flashlight and crowbar here a little bit. But as always, thank you so much for watching my friends. I'll announce the first winner of the giveaway once episode 2 comes out, so look forward to that. And I'll see you all later, take care.